is happening people and welcome back to my office which means that we are going to be doing a training commentary now if you've never been part of one of these training commentaries or try to keep things really informal and just act as if you came over to my house we're sitting down we're just talking about how my training went and currently i have a lot of training footage to get through so we're going to start right now with these deadlifts now a couple important things to note here is that this is going backwards in time so this deadlift day was actually yesterday uh, where I'm going through doing some deadlifts as well as the bench. Uh, things have been kind of crazy because I'm coming back from a torn rotator cuff, a torn bicep, COVID, as well as my normal chronic sickness and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff that you're seeing here in this video is me building back from actually uh, the bicep injury slash rotator cuff injury. And that's why you see the weights being a little bit lighter here. Another thing to note is that I've been going to the gym more often and uh, just training a little bit less long as far as length of actual session uh, and just hitting it more frequency and that is actually going really really well for me. Here's my top set from this day which is 300 pounds. Uh, very happy with this. I was looking for a triple which I'm getting. This is a close grip. You can see that my middle finger is actually on the smooth of the bar. Um, now, it's close grip for that reason, but also because uh, that helps my shoulder and my bicep feel a little bit better. And right now I'm looking more at longevity than just lifting as much weight as possible. And here's beautiful Nala just coming up next to me to, uh, to encourage me before I go for this 585. Uh, looking here for a double, was working up doubles the whole day, and it just kind of went smooth. It wasn't, uh, wasn't terribly hard. This is one of the heaviest weights I pulled uh, post surgery and I really wasn't expecting uh, it to go that well so I was very very happy about that. Now here's a couple days earlier which is the Zercher which brings me to the question of the day. What would a good training video be without a question of the day? And for today's question it is if Santa Claus was to bring you any PR that you anything anything that you wanted within reason right something that you're actually working towards but if one of your PRs actually showed up what PR is it what weight is it what exercise stuff like that now for me personally it would be the Zercher uh, squat I guess that I'm doing here at, on this day and I would like to get up to 500 pounds so that I could have a 400 pound bench a 500 pound Zercher a 600 pound squat and a 700 pound deadlift those are all post my injuries those are all way below where my original PRs are, but for right now, I would love to see that kind of lineup. I know a lot of people are going for a 300 pound bench, 400 pound squat, 500 pound deadlift, and uh, it would just be completely different for me to hit that 500 pound zercher. So here is uh, three plates going up pretty smoothly, no real problems there. What you guys seeing here is a version of the teddy bear squat called the shoulder teddy bear squat. I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this. Uh, somebody brought up the name Teddy Ruxpin, which is a name that I haven't heard in a very long time, but it brought up some very fond seven-year-old memories from me, so uh, I'm actually thinking about something along the lines of that. And these are called Sandbag One Motions. As you can see, it's almost like doing a one motion stone from the ground, uh, as if you're going to load. And then this is just me getting a little bit of extra upside down, bottoms up kettlebell work, which is extremely hard to press, but I'm especially trying to keep my elbow within the parameters of my shoulders which makes it literally super, super hard to stabilize, but very important for what my bicep is doing right now. I'm working my rotator cuff. Here is uh, 365, all going well. Now these, people keep asking, why do you straighten your legs out in between? And I didn't know either until I actually did. Uh, number one, of course, you're taking any stretch reflex, any rebound at all out of the movement whatsoever. But number two, it is really hard to stay upright when your legs are out in front of you. Uh, because you no longer have a base like outriggers on a canoe. You end up having to breathe and brace a good bit harder and just hold that. And that, that makes it a decent amount more difficult. So uh, here is my top set for the day on the Zercher. It really didn't feel that bad. Uh, I threw a belt on and I think the belt helped me some there. But really... Uh, these are something new that I'm throwing into my training that I'm going to do a complete video on them all to itself that is going to be more based on some of the finer points of it and then give you guys some sort of little workout. That'll be probably be coming out next week. Um, but for three new sandbag exercises that I'm working in, and these are actually two of them, the one motion here and then also the sandbag shoulder teddy bear squat and probably just the teddy bear squat in general. Now, um, this is a different day and I was going every minute on the, on the minute uh, I was getting two sandbag loads at, I think this is 265 
pounds, something around that. That's what we'll call it, because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so each minute, even minutes, I was getting a sandbag load, and the odd minutes, I was getting speed squats at 405, beltless. Um, now, the way that I edited it for Instagram, it just ended up turning out all my sandbags at once and all my squats at once, but you're gonna have to put up that. But you guys can see how speedy these squats are. Uh, looking pretty good at 405, just trying to move the weight quickly and uh, under control, and I, my brace was holding strong. My legs definitely have plenty of power to push through this, so I'm actually going to be um, looking to get a 600 pound squat back within just a couple weeks. Now, this was my bench day earlier in the day, my bench deadlift day earlier in the day with two different variations. Uh, I was using the Elite FTS American Cambered Bar, and then here I was doing the pause deadlift. This was actually the first day of me testing the bench to see where it was actually gonna go, because I did not know. Prior to this, I've been doing a lot of rep work and things like that, because again, without a rotator cuff and without my bicep, uh, both of those injuries, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna hit another PR again, uh, above 500 pounds in the bench press, but I'm saying that it is definitely less likely and not something that I'm really shooting for. I'm looking to try to train as long as I possibly can, as healthy as I possibly can, and so, uh, I'm really, I'm gonna get up to about 300 pounds here and then I'm not gonna move past 300 pounds, I don't think until I can do it for like a set of five. Earlier in the video you guys saw later this week, I was able to do it for a set of three. So uh, this is 300 pounds here for a double, again with the Swiss bar, uh, oh, I guess this is the American Camber bar from Elite FTS, but uh, yeah, it's got the neutral handle so that's, you can call it a Swiss bar if you want to. And this is my top set of the pause deadlift. I just wanted to make sure, this was in the middle of a work day. I was not uh, really doing much than just kind of seeing where I was at. And 550 for a pause, pretty easy, and the 300 for that double uh, made me feel pretty good. Now, this is the final training day of the session here, and I was getting um, some weighted pull-ups, trying to get back to that. Uh, I just, after I, I tore my bicep, I wasn't able to really do pull-ups without pain. Uh, so now I am back to doing pull-ups without pain. They're feeling pretty good and I'm trying to start back on the weight itself, but I didn't get heavier than 100 pounds. So you can see here there's 100 pounds around my waist, it's 90 pounds of plate weight and then the chain is about 10 pounds. So that's where I'm getting 100. Here is 185 actually for a triple. This is the best that I got going right now um, <laughs> on the on the overhead press, but that's again because of the lack of rotator cuff and lack of bicep. Uh, those exercises I'm doing between there are called kettlebell uppercuts, and those I have an entire video that I just released on it, talking about the finer points of that, because if you want to move with some velocity, then uh, you need to know a little, a few things just to be sure. Um, but yeah, top set there. Uh, like I said on these, there's a couple things you can do with your hips and guiding the kettlebell that will make it go a lot faster. Now this is just simply uh, a conditioning session that I just want to throw in to show you guys. I was doing one pull up to two dips to three push ups. Two pull ups, three dips, four push ups. Three pull ups, four dips, five push ups, so on and so forth. And I tried to get as far as I could in 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't seem like it was much, but it ended up being a lot of pressing, especially after uh, my doing everything that I had already done that day with the overhead press and the weighted pull-ups. So it ended up being a really, really cool uh, just finisher. And I, I actually released a video, I guess, last week, maybe a week and a half ago, about some basic bodyweight finishers that I'm throwing at the end of my workouts if you guys are interested in doing some of that to battle some of the holiday uh, damage that you might be doing with all the cookies and desserts and just awesome food that is around this time of year. So, um, Also, coaching calls. I want to thank each and every single one of you who has been participating in the coaching calls. They are on sale right now for $99 for the entire hour and we go over absolutely anything you want to include form checks, contest prep, diet, programming, all of it. We've just been covering absolutely everything and it's truly the most fun that I've had in coaching for quite a while because I'm meeting so many people and so many people have issues that don't seem like big issues to me because I've covered it in a video or something but they haven't seen that video so I just have some answers for them and been able to kind of get people out of plateaus, make people break some PRs, change some people's ideas about breathing and bracing and just being able to uh, just genuinely help a lot of people so it's really it's my most fun thing and then if you guys end up 
buying a coaching call or any type of program right now you are in the running for a $500 giveaway from Barbell Apparel so I'm doing that every single month there will be one of those coming out probably later this week so uh, just announcing the winner of the next $500 giveaway so I thank you guys so much for absolutely everything that you do to help support me and help support the channel just caring about my training and just genuinely being good people so I thank you guys so much and we'll catch up with you later in the week until I do go out something amazing with us keep working hard people be nice to each other I'll see you then